Hello, Pseudomonic here and welcome once again to another episode of The Tea Drinker. Today we're going to be looking at Wittards of Chelsea and their Teas of the World variety pack. You get nine different varieties of tea, 20 tea bags for £25. Now, Wittards of Chelsea offer free delivery on uh, orders over £35. So to make it up, I got a couple of other varieties uh, on sale. Um, I had the English Rose and the Cucumber and Mint. And we'll be trying those out. So it's going to be in two sections because even I can't tackle 11 teas um, at once. Um, these are all tea bags apart from the Cucumber and Mint, which is a uh, loose leaf tea variety, which means I get to... Um, use my new uh, tea diffusers and this is what they look like they're sort of star shaped you put the tea in there you put the tea in the the um, pot and uh, or the cup you pour water on it and hopefully it uh, it doesn't leak out so is this going to be a sort of acid test for this I've got a few I've got a few of them so they get broken I got them off eBay for 99p so I got 10 of them um, okay so I'm gonna do this in two parts because even I can't drink that much tea uh, I'm gonna start with the sort of top row top five and the English rows so let's have a little more look at look in depth at what I'm going to be trying so first of all we're going to have a look at the English rose black tea with flavoring a Village Fate Tea for Scones and Strawberry Jam with delicate flavours of Glorious Rose. we look on the back. And that's all the blurb about Wittards. I'll send you a link to the uh, website. Uh, so this should be interesting. Lots of floral notes. Um, hopefully. Now hopefully it's going to be quite sweet. Maybe but then again it is a black tea so it might be a little bitter so let's have a look at the teas of the world we've got our English breakfast which is sort of um, the sort of standard tea varieties let's have a look okay so we've got a Sam Ceylon and Kenyan tea so it's a blended tea um, so there, there we go, nice picture of the, the Coldstream Guards there uh, marching in front of uh, Buckingham Palace. And uh, we have our Earl Grey. Love a bit of Earl Grey me. So that's the Earl Grey. So I'm looking for nice citrus notes and things like that. Um, that's a good name. So you have Assam. I do like Assam. It's got a very sort of malty chocolatiness to it, um, which I like. But I've had, I have been disappointed by Assam teas in the past that have been a little too bitter for me. So um, I'm, 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 I'm hoping good things for this one. Here we have Ceylon, which is generally a sort of um, lighter sort of flavoured tea and a, a more golden colour so there we go and Darjeeling uh, so this is from the foothills of the Himalayas Laced with the crystalline sweetness of a muscatel wine. So this is kind of a sort of lightish tea as well, so lots of flavour. Okay, so we're going to uh, get brewing. going to have a look at what the colour's like. And uh, do the first part of this taste test. Because to be honest with you, even I can't... Um, <laughs> Even I can't cope with, uh, you know, 11 teas at once. So I sort of break it down into two sections. So, right, let's get boiling. 
Okay, we've been steeping the tea bags for the recommended three to five minutes. And uh, from the look of them, they're pretty similar in colour, which is what you'd expect from um, black tea varieties. There's some lovely aromas coming off of these, especially the English rose. So, let's sit down and have a taste. Okay, this is the part I really like, the taste test. So, we're going to start off with Darjeeling. Nice, light, fruity, floral aroma. Um, uh, it, it's 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 very it's very pleasing to the nose. It's um, like I said, floral. It's got a lightness to it, and uh, so let's give it a taste. Quite floral, light tasting. Uh, not too bitter on the aftertaste. Um, it goes down smoothly. Um, Very sort of refreshing, there's a refreshing kick to it. Um, yes, very good cup of tea. Okay, next we're going to try Ceylon. Again, um, sort of very springy, sort of um, sort of spring water type aroma to it. Um, not so floral. Um, Let's give it a let's give it a taste. Again, not strong, not bitter, goes down quite smoothly. It dances on the taste buds. Um, no uh, adverse after after taste. Mm. Yes, very nice. Okay, um, your favourite and mine, Earl Grey. Immediate hit of bergamot, definite citrus notes there, can definitely smell them from the off. Delicious, sweet, sour smell. Um, I hope this carries on to the taste. Yes, definite citrus notes there. Slight astringency, which is what you want with an Earl Grey. The tea, the slightly smoky quality to the tea as well. Um, it's not bitter. Um, definite can taste the citrus notes coming through the bergamot. Um, lovely cup of tea this, lovely cup of tea. Mm. Well, what I don't like is that there's a bit of a smoky aftertaste to it, but that's my only criticism of it. Okay, a Sam, another favorite of mine. Oh yes, there, there is definitely a sort of malty, chocolatey scent to this. Um, so I'll, I'll just... Yes, there's a hint of, of malty, chocolatey, um, a little bit bitter, I've noticed. Um, Slight sharpness on the aftertaste, but but um, the initial taste is quite smooth, um, quite s slightly sweet, um, sort of um, very good uh, palette, very good aroma. Um, this is definitely one of the better Assams I've drunk. Okay, so. 
your standard English breakfast tea. Uh, this is a blend of three black teas. And it just smells like your ordinary cup of tea in the morning, before, you know, during breakfast, sets you up for the day. That's a good cup of tea. That is a, that is that is that is a morning tea. There's a slight creaminess to it. Um, there's no bitterness. It's it's just a you know it's just the punchiness of tea. And there's no bad aftertaste. It's just a hit of tea, and it's very very pleasant. So this is the last one, this is the English Rose, which was like a bonus one, because uh, then I get free uh, free delivery. Oh, it's sweet and floral this, oh, it's not too floral, it's more sort of sweet, it's very sort of jam, sort of strawberry jam, um, sitting in a field having a picnic. This is a very, very summer tea. So let's give it a sip. Again, it's very sort of sweet, very floral. Um, the black tea set, the black tea taste um, doesn't come to too uh, prominently. Um, mm. This is a sort of very afternoon summer tea with your scones and your and your your finger sandwiches. This is a very lovely tea. Mm. But I think out of all of these, I think my favourite for this section, oh it's hard um, because they're all really nice, um, I think I'm going to go with, with English breakfast actually, that's a good solid tea, it's your standard tea, no, no frills, Absolutely brilliant taste, smooth, set you up in the morning and uh, highly recommended. But to be honest, they're all really, really good tea. So um, I'm going to go on to the next part and we'll have a look at um, the other teas in the selection. OK, so we're going to have a look at the rest of the teas in the Wittard of Chelsea um, tea Teas of the World variety pack and also another bonus tea. Um, so let's have a look at what we have. Right, first of all, we've got Sencha, which is uh, a Japanese green tea, which is the leaf as opposed to the powder, which is matcha. Um, so I've had Sencha before. I do like the taste of it. It's very fresh. Okay. Then we have jasmine. I'm very fond of jasmine tea as well. Uh, as long as it's not too floral. So um, that should be uh, hope hopeful that's going to taste good. We've got spice imperial. Which I suppose is a bit like a spice chai tea so hopefully it's not going to taste like licorice <laughs> hmm. uh, so I like the peacock on the on the front of the box it's very nice so yep uh, Russian caravan of course favorite of mine um, it's a blend of China teas and it's got that smoky flavor which I really like. Just as long as it's not too smoky. I've had I have had some Russian caravan teas that did actually taste like a mouthful of, of charcoal. So hopefully this isn't going to be that. And then we have this, which is our bonus tea. I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, it's uh, it's cucumber and mint, sort of a very summery flavour. Um, and uh, 
it's uh it's got corn flowers and it's got uh like apple in it as well and it smells absolutely amazing very very refreshing smell and with that i'm going to use my little tea strainer so um let's get brewing and uh let's get tasting so uh let's have a look at how our tea varieties have been brewing uh so the censure is actually surprisingly quite dark it's a sort of um sort of darkish brown color the jasmine is a sort of sort of grey green colour, slightly yellow around the edges. The Russian caravan and the Spice Imperial are both quite dark in colour, sort of very reddish brown, almost purple. And the cucumber and mint is a sort of amber colour, you know, reddish brown. I'm pleased to say that the uh little um, diffuser seems to be working well uh, so I'm going to set up for the taste test now and we'll see what uh, what they all taste like let's hope I am not disappointed okay so we're going to start with the Sencha tea which is a uh, Tea of spontaneity made for friends and strangers alike. Okay. Right. Um, fresh green tea scent. Very beautiful. Very light. Hits the nostrils just right. Very fresh. You can almost feel the refreshment just by smelling it. So we'll give it a taste. Nice astringent flavour, quite strong, quite bitter, quite refreshing, really doesn't hold back, pulls its punches, very strong, very flavourful, slight smokiness, um, all in all very good cup of tea. So we're going on to the jasmine blend. Lovely floral aromas, sweet floral jasmine. Bit of a shame about the colour, it does look very sort of dull grey. Um, so let's have a sip. Mm. A little too strong on the floral there. Uh, you can instantly tell it's jasmine tea. Uh, a little too powerful. Uh, very refreshing nonetheless um, I just wish they'd, they'd sort of toned it down a little bit you don't want a mouthful of flowers when you're having a a cup of tea do you? <laughs> um, so that's a bit of a minus for that but it, otherwise very refreshing very clear quite smooth little hint of bitterness good cuppa so the next one is Spiced Imperial and it's quite dark in colour. Good scent to it though, very sort of Christmassy. You can smell the spices, definitely cinnamon, definitely cardamom. Not sure about the vanilla and I'm definitely getting some citrus notes from the orange as well. So let's have a taste. Mm. Like I said, very cakey, very Christmassy, sort of a very good brew for around this time of year. Uh, very autumnal slash winter. Um, definitely getting the cinnamon there and the cardamom and I'm getting the orange peel as well. Not sure about the vanilla, not really hitting me with the vanilla, but nonetheless, one of the best spice brews I've tasted so far. Um okay here's another one of my favorites russian caravan mm. 
Mm. This, uh, from Russian Caravan, it doesn't smell as smoky as uh, they usually do. Um, usually you're hit immediately with the sort of campfire scent from the tea. So let's see if that's more apparent in the taste. Oh yes, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, it's, it's more in the taste um, than in the scent. You're definitely getting a sort of taste of sort of uh, campfires and long nights traveling and uh, cooking over an open range. Which is a good thing because, yeah, like I said before, you, when you're drinking tea, you don't want a mouthful of charcoal. So this is um, it's Russian caravan, but it's a subtle Russian caravan. It's not too dominant, but it's still quite punchy. Okay, so our last one is the cucumber and mint, which I had to get in a, a loose leaf caddy. Um, I don't really dif differentiate between um, loose leaf and tea bags, to be honest. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a tea snob. If it comes in a tea bag, I'll drink it. If I have to put a little bit more effort and sort of brew it with a diffuser or a tea strainer or something like that, I'm not bothered. At the end of the day, it's it's the the beverage that you're drinking, not exactly the the, the how you prepare it. But okay, just give it a little bit of a stir. Take this out. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, that's so lovely. That is, that's so, you, you get the mint, but you get the cucumber as well. This is such a fresh smelling cup of tea. Uh, it's, it, it's sandwiches at the Savoy. It really is. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, wow. You get the mint, but you also get that sort of creaminess it, I can only describe it as a sort of creaminess from the sort of taste of cucumber you can taste the cucumber so well it's not like the mint totally dominates you can taste the cucumber in this um, it's sharp and it's sweet and it's 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 minty and oh it's so nice that is so lovely. That is that is a really good when you're having your sandwiches. It's a summertime. Okay, I'll admit it. It's a summertime beverage, but it's so fresh tasting. It's so fresh. Um, I think I'm just gonna finish this off actually. Mm. Oh, that is that is an amazing brew. Oh, it's so nice. It has a wonderful tartness to it. So, um, what do I have to say about Wittards of Chelsea, uh, rather Wittard of Chelsea, um, what I have to say about the uh, Teas of the World, very good. I'd highly recommend if you want to try some of the products of Wittard of Chelsea, I think that uh, the Tea of the World would be a, um, a good choice. Yeah, it's kind of got a very broad palette. I can't really think of anything that I really sort of... The Everyday Tea, that was very good. And the Spice Imperial. Um, they were both exceptionals. Um, the Jasmine, a little too over-flavoured, I think. Uh, a little too flowery. But nonetheless, very good. But... Um, out of my favourite of what I bought, I have to say, if you do get your hands on it, please get some cucumber and mint because it's absolutely gorgeous. It, it, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's cucumber, it's mint, it's so flavourful. Um, and the, the English rose stuff was quite good as well, it's quite, that was quite sweet. So yeah, um, Wittards of Chelsea, uh, big double thumbs up from me. Um, and uh, as to you out there, hope to see you again in the next video.